Hey guys, welcome back. And work is getting progressively better on this. Um, first week of the build, so um, got a lot of things done, which you're going to see. Got a lot of things that I I was asking questions about that you will see, so I'm not going to take away from the video. What I do want to let you guys know is uh, my videos should be starting to be more frequent again. I had to return to a medical LOA, um, trying to get the meds that help me control the the emotions and the other things I lost are lack of control due to the damage I suffered in my brain trying to get those on a balance so instead of uh, getting asked to leave my job I went ahead and went on a medical again to get this under control so hopefully I can still work where I love working but hey also I love doing this so it's kind of a 50-50 I mean I get now I get more time to build but I got a family to take care of and so there it is. But hey, if you're new to my channel, um, go ahead and click on the subscribe button, click the bell, and you'll get up you'll get notified every time I upload. So I want to thank you guys all for that. And the other thing I'm gonna do that I've kind of noticed through watching my videos is I'm gonna try to go with every kid I do, kind of do a step by step what I'm doing to make the model the way I want. And maybe, you know, and hopefully this will help you guys because I've had some questions asked on techniques that I've used that I haven't fully explained. So um, for me, being able to do a, uh, a better step-by-step -step explaining why I'm doing certain things, hopefully that will help you with uh, your problem areas if you're stuck in a build. And like always, guys, leave a comment in the comment section and let me know. Um, if you need more explanation on something I'm doing or why I'm doing a certain thing, please ask. And again, like I said, thank you all for continuing to watch my modeling builds. And uh, let's get to the bench and see where we're at with the Tomcat. Well, it is Thursday, and yes, getting to work on the Tomcat. Now, a lot of what I'm going to show you in the video, I, I was going to tell you how I do things, like with paint and how to get things going. But a lot of the, the pre-built stuff, um, it's really kind of boring to watch. So... I'm not going to do that. So first thing first, if you ever do get it to me a kit, and I'm sorry, I got this glued, but let me see if I can bring it up. There you go. This has got to be the first model kit or styrene kit that I have done that I actually have to use a, screw, a Phillips head screwdriver, which is very awesome because these are in, the wings are in and fully movable, and there's no chance of glue on them or anything except for when I put the, the actual wings on, not the insides. But awesome. The other thing, do, um, one other thing, do not use your CA if you can help it. Um, if you do, just be very light with it. But the great thing, what I'm finding out with the Tamiya, because like I said, this is my first kit, is my Tamiya thin, thin cement works awesome. There's no really big issues. I mean, yeah, I have to hold some things, but it's awesome. So, like I said, I'm getting a lot of pre-building done, but I wanted to kind of go ahead and show you my idea, and you can do what you want. It's your kit. Follow how you want to build it. Do whatever you want. Because when I pre-build, I try to get a bunch of things done before I go on to final paints and getting it all together. But what I have laid out here is the cockpit. Um, there's the pilot. There's a radi uh, the radar guy. And on this kit you have to actually add all the ex the instrument things let me see if i can zoom that in just a little better for you let me get something to point you actually have to glue this 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 all in so it tells you it shows you a paint diagram in the instructions and you you can either leave it on the sprue or not or do like i did and i'm actually i glued it in because i wanted it all even and then I can just brush the light, the little details I need to do. Um, it makes it a lot easier, and I can actually use my airbrush on things I need to use my airbrush for, and my paintbrush on things I need to uh, use them for. But I've already, like, with all that built, and then all the pieces that I need to be able to put in the cockpit until the seats and the, the, the figures go in, which I'm still thinking about. Definitely going to have the seats, but the figures, a little different. So, as you can see, I have a lot of stuff on the sprue, so I can get these um, airbrushed, and then I can do the little 
brushing I need to so I'm not trying to hold this piece with a pair of tweezers or not it's easier on the sprue and the great thing is when you use your sprue cutters you can just all you gotta do is very lightly touch up um, touch them up so um, that's why they're on the sprue so I guess I'm gonna spray this I'm gonna follow the painting diagram that they gave me pretty close um, but it's asking like for the instrument panels on in a lot of spots it's asking for a gloss black which if you've served and you guys know um, like me I've served I've seen all this equipment I'm a big fan of Top Gun and you know all that crazy stuff but these weren't glossy and I mean I can paint it the gloss and then do the matte but why I have flat black it's going to do what I need it to do and then I can go from there because I mean, it's still going to be glossy because I'm going to, you know, gloss coat it because you got decals here, here, and here, and here. So get that all done. But I want to get the most, the majority of the painting done before I do that. So that's how it's going. And um, like I said, I'm going to get a lot of the pre building, unless it's something you guys really need to see. I'm going to get a lot of it done and then show you and explain how I did it. Or if it is important, I'm going to. Turn the camera on like you guys know me, and I'm going to really go through it. So, I'm going to get back to work on this, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, hey guys. Um, let you know what's gotten done for today, coming to the end of it. So, um, like I showed you before, I was getting a lot of the pre-built done, but I really... Let me get this camera there. There we go. I really got... Really wanted to get this done as much as I could and awesomely I got it done um, even with waiting on stuff to dry and go there but here let me show you okay so the neon green you see is actually the decals and then I airbrushed the primary color which was sky gray and then I actually went in and thinned down my paint a little bit um, I didn't use the gloss black I used regular flat black and that's what I did. I just went in and got those by brush. And then the other paints, like you see that khaki color there, that's I think a bag. And then you got fun thing of it. I've used always smoke to, to help do weathering, but first time I've actually been asked to do that, to paint it, per the instructions. And then I dry brushed and the, the a little bit of gray just to highlight those buttons. And then I did do some... I did do the colors and then but yeah so there's that so this is done um, and then I went ahead and I did um, Tamiya panel wash gray and after that got really good and dry then I went in with Tamiya panel line um, or yeah panel line black and got it real good and I like the way that aged it up it doesn't look like a toy and get in focus there you go it looks really good so let me turn it this way there you go guys and i gotta admit i'm very happy with building the, the tamiya kit so far it's been awesome and like i said in the uh when i was explaining things um guys if you don't have tamiya liquid cement yet grab some um it's gonna make this so much better i mean yes i use a lot of ca i lose use epoxies i do everything but when doing this, I'm trying to stick, and I like the way they see the Tamiya, because if you get those oops, it's very easy to clean up, um, and you can wipe it off really quick before it starts to dry, unlike CA and all that. It gets real tacky, real fast, real hard. But yeah, so now I just got to do a matte coat, and this part is done, except for the ejection um, chairs, which we'll, I'll be doing later. But I just wanted to get something... Oh, because, I mean, this is one I've been waiting to do, but, yeah. So, there you go, guys. And, um, we'll see what's coming up next. So, see you guys in a bit. Well, hey, everyone. It is Saturday, and I just got home and did some things from work, and then got here on the bench. I want to show you a little bit more of what got done and explain some things. So, on the front part of the plane where the cockpit goes I went ahead and I already went and pre-built and got all the little sections that needed to go in there because I'm not gonna have it opened and if you do buy this to me a kit you're gonna be going what the heck is 
the little silver stickers for it. Um, it'll tell you um, it's supposed to be put on the kit like this and then painted over um, for some reason. I'll have to do some more research into it. But, um, yeah. So, even, like, let me see if I can get it to focus here. Okay, so when you put in the gun pod door, you can, I'm going to leave the lines um, where it is because if I remember right, this drawer actually folds down and I want to make sure that that's present. I might go on and do a little cleanup, but that's there. Another thing I want to show you guys, if, if you're just getting into it or you've been building and you're going, oh my God, all this, you know, I, I do everything the instructor says and paint, 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 paint. Um... Just an FYI on this one, these on the in, oh, these on the inside are supposed to be painted um, white, flat white, and I might do from here, but that's about it because when you put this one on, let me make sure I get it in the right spot here, because when you put this one on, hold on. Do this right for you guys. Yeah, pretty much there. So when you put this one on, you're only going to see this, this part. And unless you pick the kit up and go, okay, yep, there it is. You're not going to see a lot of the, a lot of the inside. Like you are going to have a piece put into here, so I might touch these up where these um, hydraulics are. Paint those. The silver that's that asked for, but I'll dirty it up so it looks like it's an actual plane. But one of the things you want to, you know, when you start, you start going, don't go really crazy, but you know, you can do the paint if that's what you want to do. But for me, I I paint what I know is going to be seen, or mostly way seen, and then I just kind of what doesn't need. I, what, what calls for being painted, but I'm going, okay, this is never going to be seen. So, like, if this actually had the full uh, turbine and you were actually doing a cutaway, yeah, I'd paint the whole engine if you were doing a, a, a scratch belt where you cut part of this away so you could see the engine. But with 99% of it being covered up like that, if there was an engine, I'm not painting that. Okay, that's, that's just not a good use of time. But... Yeah, so just some heads up. You can do what you want. Um, I also pre-drilled the holes for the weapons pods that are going to be going in. So that's there. Um, and it's really quick and simple and easy. And then one thing I will say, if you drill if you drill from the inside out, make sure you run your drill from the outside in. It helps cleans up that little bit of flash. So guys, I'm going to get back to getting some more pre-built done and I'll come back and show you what I got done. Well, hey guys, it is Monday. Sorry for the background noise. I got my um, vent fan on and I'm doing some priming on parts. But I'm still working on the pre-built. And I gotta say, I'm very excited with Tamiya and I'm very glad with Tamiya is I get to get a lot of stuff done. Um, and the only problem I have with it is it's telling you to do certain paint jobs like I've said before, and you're not even going to need them. But I've got both of the rudder fins done in the back, and this is going to be separate because I got to paint it black and do all that. And I'm not going to put them on the plane till they're completely done. But I've also got the ejection seats, the pilots done up, and what I got to say about to me is I'll try to bring that up that focus there we go is not only is the, the molding craftsmanship very well this is the pilot but even after you glue them in you cannot hardly ever see a seam line which is great but that's where I'm at right now so I'm gonna get some pre-painting done or get some painting done and get some more pre-building done and I will be back and I'll show you what I've gotten accomplished so far so stay tuned Oh hey guys, we're back and I've gotten primer on some of the, the, the lower parts of the F-14 I'm going to do. Um, and 
those parts I got to paint a flat white on the inside and you might see it, you might not. Like I said, when you do the inside stuff, it's your choice. Um, but uh, I kind of show you this and yeah, you can't, there you can see I went ahead and painted the gunmetal for the fan, the intake fan and the black on the inside of the intake. But yeah, um, I didn't go overboard with any kind of detail on it because in the end, um, it's going to be here and you're not going to see much of it when it's in but I just did that little bit of paint like I said oh, get it back in there there we go I just did that little bit of paint in there and even right there you can't tell until I get the light on it so that's where we're at so I'm going to keep working on getting more of these sub parts together and getting this overall done and uh, when we come back again I'll show you what I got done all right, see you guys in a minute. Well, hello. It is Wednesday, and I am getting back at this. I uh, I did something that was pretty cool. Somebody asked me to do a tutorial on how to do windows, um, like I did on the Voyager that I built. So I did that, and then I went ahead and did some more. So I got the intake, everything in, as you can see. And, yeah, you can still see the fans a little bit. But the one thing I want to tell you guys is these two pieces are separate. Let me see. So, and what you can see, and that's even after I sanded it down to actually fit. Um, and then you got one on the inside, and then you got raised edges here. Now, I'm not faulting to Mia. Um, sometimes, they're, you know, it happens. I mean, for the most part, this kit's really good. So, um, I will get this sanded down and get it all smooth and make it look good. That's not going to be too bad. Um, the great thing is I can just work on this and not have to hopefully take it across any of the detail. But, you know, it is there. But I can remake the detail. So, there's that. Um, but the really fun thing I got getting more done is I'm starting on the front part of the plane to do the cockpit. And, um, and I got the front landing gear done. So, here you go, guys. So, this is the front landing gear bay. It is painted flat white, and then high, some of the parts are highlighted with buff and black. And this part here actually runs down to the back, if I can get it there so you guys can see. Yep, there you go. And then just a little bit of chrome silver on this, and then that goes in there. But that was pretty, pretty fun to put together. It looks really good, and um, the sad part is you have to get this all done before you can even put the pieces together. So, um, cockpit and uh rear is on and glued in um just on this side and then even though the instructions don't call for it guys but if any of you guys have built planes and you've had them gears down landed you know the back end can tend to be a little heavier than the front even with the cockpit and the stuff in it so like i said even though the instructions didn't call for it i decided to go ahead and weight this down so i know there's not going to be any issue and the best weights, guys, um, if you need to weight the front of your plane down or any part of your, your, your build, go get these fishing line weights. They're awesome. They fit well. They do what you need to do, and they're, they're in ounces, so you can, you can get heavier ounces or lighter ounces, however you want to do it. But, yeah. So, next part, after these get all set and dry, is I'm going to get this piece together and get it all drying up and work on... The great thing is I can work on, after I get this part together, I can work on the seams and get them puttied if I need to, get those taken care of and get that little bit more of that detail out and uh, then I can put it on to her. I can put it on to here. So, yay, fun. The other thing I've been working on is the rear of the, the engines and let me move this here. Um, the great thing is, there's going to be a fan to this. It sits here, but this thing is going to be like right in here. So I am going to still detail a little bit, but I'm not going to go crazy. I want to paint the inside of this black, but like I said, I'm not going to go crazy. And then I will detail the heck out of the, the rear nozzle. But the interesting thing is these parts, guys. These are part of the, part of the engine um, rear. And the fun thing is I go... Uh, let's get the right piece here. Okay, hold on. And I 
like that. The funny thing is, there's a decal that goes all the way around here to help highlight it and do some detail that you can, you know, you could paint if you're crazy, and I am, but I'm not going to do that. And then you got the upper and different paint jobs for the upper part of the plane and the lower part that start right here, blend right here, and go back in a line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to gloss coat this and get that decal on, and then once I get everything in, I'll put that on. And the last thing I'm going to do is the fins, but I can once I get that decal on and sealed in, then I can I can mask it off and worry about and help working on getting the rest of the paint. But yeah, so there's fun, um, lots of fun coming. But just give you guys a heads up, and you're going to be seeing more videos because, sad to say, I had to return on to a leave of absence, um, and I'll go over that. Yeah, I'll probably do that at the first video, so you'll see that. But, all right, guys, I'm going to get back to getting something built, and when I, when I got something to show you, I'll be back. All right, just real quick, I went ahead and got the two pieces together, and as you can see on the smaller front, um, you're definitely going to want to do tape like so and yeah even though they met up there's just a little lip so don't be worried about when you got to sand that down but then I rubber banded the back and then another thing if you guys don't have it in your collection I would get some uncure um, I went ahead and CA'd uh, I did the joints for the landing gear I put a drop in each of those and then I put some out on a piece of paper and took this toothpick and run it down the edges um, so yeah there we go and now that's done and drying but I had I got it a little bit on my hand and got it right here and uh, all I did was take the uncure and, and uh, cotton tip and q-tip and just cleaned it up fast and easy so um, when we get back guys see what else we got done well hey guys it is Thursday it's about almost two o'clock in the afternoon and just doing some more work on the Tomcat but I wanted to show you um, I went ahead and did it because I I finally got I got mail call I got some very nice small detail brushes to do details and uh, yeah I wanted to play with them so I went ahead and did the fans or the turbine the the exhaust port let me try to get it out there let's see here but I did the colors and let me see if turning that off will help yeah no. Um, I did the colors, the different colors. There's a, a mixture of metallic and um, chrome in the inside part, then medium gray, and then the outside is um, metallic gray. So, but I wanted to play around with the brushes. So, but like I was saying, guys, you know, when you do this, decide how you want to do it. If you want to go do a little extra detail like that, you can. But right there is that's how you, you know, if you can get light in there, you'll see it, but. If not, you know, when people pick it up, it's just going to be, oh, what? Huh? Oh, there's something there. Okay. But, yeah, so that's there. So what I'm fixing to get ready to do is get these into this part. And then I'm going to do the decal around it and let that get all good and set up and ready to go. So see you guys when I get that done. Okay, well, <clears throat> got some stuff, good stuff done today. So let me show you. First, um... I know I've done a lot of videos on how to do putty on seam lines, but if you guys ever have a, you, you want me to show you again, let me know. Um, but starting to get this smoothed down on the nose of the plane, and then right here on the bottom, you really, you do this, you're going to have those. I mean, to me it's great, There's they're not real bad seam lines, but um, when you put your, your primer coat and then all that, and that paint starts getting to those edges, it might fill up, but most likely it won't. So make sure you do, do do some seam prep and take care of them. But this is what I did so far, and I'm not even I'm not even done sanding it. It looks like it, but I'm not even close. Um, and then um, I'll show you again when I get this primered. Um, if I did a good job, they'll disappear. If I didn't, then I got a little more work to do. But hey, there's that. So I also went ahead and did the decals. On this, um, uh, you know, I don't know yet. I mean, I'm okay with them, but I'm not real. I'm not sure yet. So I'm gonna let them dry and gonna think about it. If not, 
I'm going to actually take and actually just, um, the difference is this is kind of a checkered look, but that's okay. But then there's a silver line just right on there, and I can do that. Oh, sorry. And then I can do that right there. Um, like I said, I'm going to let these dry overnight, see what I think about them. If I don't like them, I'm going to take them off, and I'm just going to paint this. Um, most times I try to do, but I'm trying to trying to see if I like it or not. So we'll get there. But the last, the other thing I did is I got the cone, the, the nozzles, the rear of the jet engines done. And um, got them painted where I really like. And then some of the instructions like, oh, you need to paint the inside white and gray. Well, these are exhausts. This is where the jet, this is where the fire comes out. So uh, I did a little bit of it in there, as you can see. But then I really made sure, and I got a little more soot to put in. But these here are decals. And I mean, I could have painted it. And again, that's something else I want to look at, see what I think. But that looks pretty good. So, yeah, those are done. Um, here's the other one. I really like them. And I, I, you know, I'm not probably going to keep the decal. I like the way that looks. So, probably going to stay with that. But I'm going to definitely do some, I'm going to do a, a missing of um, flat black in here to give it that really dark soot effect when the afterburner get kicked in and just, well, you know, it's hot. So, so that's where we're... Well, happy Friday, guys. It's uh, towards the evening and just got home so I could get some stuff done. I had a bunch of... I had appointments today and was crazy and getting taxes done. So, um, what I was telling you guys earlier was I wasn't sure I wanted to take care... Take this decal off and just spray it. And, well, as you can tell, I am. So, all I did was take my X-Acto knife and if you guys run into this problem with wallpaper and decals like this and the reason I took it off is because even after everything set it was still getting really wrinkled on the edges and I didn't like that even though as much as I tried to work it out and keep it smooth um, this one just did not want to do it so I'm gonna like I said so all I did was use my X-Acto knife like so and just scraped a lot of it off and then I went and sanded it, so now i got to reprime this and get ready for paint. <clears throat> Another thing I want to show you guys is, um, as you saw me getting the, the primer or the putty done, now I've gotten everything masked off that I want to protect from paint or any kind of paint. And the first thing I'm going to do is, um, I'm just going to, primer up this area so I can see what's going on um, or I might go ahead and just say screw it and primer the whole thing you know I can do either one but I'm going to really focus on this part these two parts right here so not very much to show and tell for Friday especially in the evening not a bunch of work going on but hey it's getting it's getting closer and like I said the little bit of show and tell I will do for you guys hold on let me do this so that's what she's going to look like when I get these two pieces together. So without the wings and everything, that plane is pretty pretty good size. Let me zoom out here so you can tell. She's going to be a pretty good size aircraft when everything's done. I mean, <clears throat> that's the full length of her without the wings. So I'm going to be very happy with this. So that's my show and tell for Friday of the work that's been done. So... With that, guys, I want to wish you a happy weekend, and uh, we'll see you next week when we come back to my bench. Bye, guys.